In this video, we're going to get started using Unity Snaps. These are assets built officially by Unity that are made to be easily snapped together so you can very easily and very quickly build the level in minutes. Plus, all of these Snaps asset packs are made with ProBuilder so you can even customize them if needed. Let's begin! Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and this channel is all about helping you learn how to make your own games with in-depth tutorials made by a professional indie game developer. So if you find the video helpful, consider subscribing. Okay, so Unity Snaps are a very interesting and useful feature. Usually when making a game, what takes the most amount of time is actually creating the assets. So being able to quickly and easily set up a level for testing is extremely useful. Unity Snaps tries to solve that problem by having pre-built assets that can be easily snapped together. Here we are going to see how we can import the assets, use them to build our level with everything nicely snapped into place, swap out the prototype assets for HD assets, and customize the assets using ProBuilder. This video's Patreon sponsor is Bad Adventure. Bad Adventure is a game development duo currently working on their first game, Wayfarer's Edge. It's a RPG focused on exploring and settling unknown frontier lands in a low fantasy and wild west theme. Check them out at badadventure.com. Thank you to the Patreon sponsor, and thank you to these awesome supporters for making this video possible. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. Okay, so first of all, we need our assets. Now, if you go into the asset store and search for snaps, you'll find them all. So here they are, all the ones currently available. And as you can see, some of them are actually very recent. Like this one was just added two days ago. So newer snap packs are constantly being added. Some packs are free and some are premium. Right now, there's actually a mega bundle sale happening on the asset store. In terms of snaps, the bundle contains the sci-fi military base here, then also the school pack, and then down here, the super awesome buried memory Sarek, which is what I'll be using in this video. Now, the normal price for this pack alone is over $100, so this total bundle is an excellent deal. You get three snaps packs, along with tons more awesome assets and tools, and even an included subscription to Unity and Learn Premium. So it's a total of over $1,000 worth of assets for 90% off. The link in the description is also an affiliate link, so if you pick up the bundle or any asset through that link, you'll also be helping out the channel. Okay, so back into our asset list. Now, if you'll notice, you'll see that there are two types. Some are called snaps prototype and some are snaps art. This is one of the ways that it really helps you easily build your own levels. Essentially, both packs have the exact same shape, but the Snaps prototypes are super lightweight models, whereas the Snaps art are very good looking high definition assets. So even if your PC is very weak, it will easily run smooth with the prototypes, and then when you make your first build, you just click on a button to convert them all into high definition assets. So this makes prototyping a level extremely easy. So for starters, let's pick up the prototypes package. In this case, I'll be using the Snaps prototype for the Buried Memory Sarek. Once you have it, just click on Open in Unity. And now here, if you're working in Unity 2018.4, then you'll just see the package contents. And if you're in Unity 2019 or later, it opens up the package manager set to show your assets. So here in the upper left corner, you can switch between the normal packages or your assets. So select the prototype pack, hit download and click on import. Now, once you do, you'll see that the folder has been added to your project files and you can expand it to look at all of the various objects. So here under prefabs, we have the chamber, then a bunch of structures, and there you go, we have all of our structures. So we have floors, walls, ceilings, and tons of awesome props, computer console, and so on. All right. Okay, so now that we have all the assets prepared, here comes the real reason why snaps are called snaps. Now, the reason is because they are meant to work directly with ProGrids. So if you're using Unity 2019 or later, then by default, you'll have ProGrids and ProBuilder installed. And if not, you can just go into the package manager and sell the ProGrids and ProBuilder packages. Once you do, then you should be able to see the tools menu all the way up here. And once you click on it, then you have the ProGrids and you can click to open the ProGrids window. And in doing so, it opens up this nice window over here on the corner. Now, if you're not familiar with ProGrids, this is how you can very easily snap objects onto a grid. So you have a whole bunch of buttons to interact with the grid, like making it visible or not. And the most important one, which is enable or disable snapping. So now let's drag an object onto our scene. So down here, let's look for one of these floors and we just drag it onto our scene. All right, so here's the floor. And on the position, you can see that it's on a weird position, but since snapping is enabled, we just move it around. 
and there you go, now it's on a perfect snap position. Another reason why they are called snaps is because all the objects are built in a standard way in order to snap to each other. So there's this floor tile, now let's pick up a different floor tile, and as you can see the shape is exactly the same so I can snap it perfectly right next to that one. We can even go up here in order to modify the scale of our grid. So we set up our grid scale and then here we can just duplicate and set up all of our floor tiles. All right, so we have some floor tiles. Now let's also drag some walls and we can also rotate it. All right, so just like this, we have a very basic room. Now over here, I have a simple player character controller. So let's test. And up here we are in our very, very basic room. And as you can see, there are no gaps anywhere because all of the assets are perfectly snapped together. All right, so now I'm going to continue doing the same thing and just build up a bigger level. All right, so in a couple of minutes, I built up this level. As you can see, just a bunch of rooms. They've got floor, ceiling, walls, and much of props. And let's try it out. Okay, so here I am inside my level with my basic player controller. And yep, it all looks pretty good from here. So there's a floor in here, then another one, something in there, all right, very nice, and something in there. All right, great. And as you can see, all the assets are modeled with the correct proportions in real world units. So if you also have assets of your own that were made with real units in mind, then you can easily mix them right here. All right, so we saw how we built our level very easily, but right now it still looks pretty bad. The layout is good, but visually it's very basic. Now, if you remember, the snaps in the asset store had two types, the prototype assets and the art HD assets. So now that our level is fully built, we can instantly and very easily swap our prototype assets for HD assets. So back in the asset store, we go and grab the art HD assets. So in this case, we use this one for the prototype and now this one for the Snaps Art HD. So just open it. And over here, a new folder gets added onto our project files. And in here, we have very much exactly the same prefabs as previously. So now to swap out from the prototype onto the Art HD assets, there's one excellent tool we can use. Back in the asset store, we search for the asset swap tool. And over here, this is what we find. So just open it. And once you do, then over here in our scene, you'll see the snaps menu up here. And then you can open the asset swap tool. And now here you click on the button to select the snaps prototype. And then on the other button to select the snaps art HD. And now all of these buttons are valid. And now here comes the magic moment. All we do is click on this button to swap all of our assets onto snaps art HD prefabs and click on it. And there you go, everything immediately changes. And now if we play the exact same scene, and there it is, now over here we are using our HD assets. So you can see the walls change, the floors change, all of the lights, all of the things, over there the balcony, the ceiling, and everything has changed. And again, if these assets are too heavy whilst we're editing our game, then we can just use our tool and swap back onto our prototype assets. So there it is, prototype, and click on that one, and say GD, and just like this, back to prototype. All right, so that's the magic of the prototype and HD asset system. Now over here is another scene I made previously. And again, here are all the gorgeous HD assets. And I go through, I go through this door and into this chamber and there you go, just like that. So as you can see, lots of assets, lots of lights and different effects and everything. 
So here is the scene in the editor. There you go, all the assets right there. Now, previously, I mentioned the ProBuilder package. If you're not familiar with it, this is an excellent tool that lets you do 3D modeling whilst inside of Unity, meaning you can very easily edit your assets to fit your needs. So to use the ProBuilder package, first of all, you just need to have the package installed. Then you go into Tools, and over here you have the ProBuilder and the ProBuilder window. And now with this, we can select an asset we want to modify. So let's say over here, this nice console. So with the object selected, you click on ProBuilderize. And just like that, now we can easily add this mesh. So if you're familiar with ProBuilder, this is yet another way that you can easily modify these assets. Now, personally, I have no skill as a 3D modeler, so I can't do much with it. But if you do, then this is incredibly useful. You can build up your level very quickly using snaps, and then you can easily manually adjust anything that you need. So just like that, you can easily customize all the objects as you need them. As I said, there's currently an awesome bundle sale going on that includes three snaps HD packs and tons more assets, tools, and learn premium at an excellent discount. The link in the description is also an affiliate link, so if you pick up the bundle or any asset through that link, then you'll also be helping out the channel. So this is Unity Snaps. This is an excellent tool for quickly and easily making some 3D levels. Since personally I'm not very experienced at 3D modeling and drawing art, I won't be using Snaps to make a level for an upcoming test where I'll be using my normal 2D characters in a 3D world. That should be a very exciting project, so stay tuned for that. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. Subscribe to the channel for more Unity tutorials, post any questions you have in the comments, and I'll see you next time.